Hi folks, back to the old Beddington farmland. Those of you that are regular followers of my channel will have heard me mention Beddington farmland, Beddington Park, the Wandle, Wandle Valley, Mordenhall Park. These are my inspirations in and around South London, South East London. Well, we're in Surrey really, but uh, we're classed as a London borough, unfortunately. Uh, but Beddington farmland, it, 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 it hasn't been a farm for, for well, I don't know. But it's a, a, a track, wildly overgrown, very lovely. Um, there was a lot of quarrying going down in this area. Uh, and that's all been sold off, all the gravel has been dug out. It's left 12, uh, 12 lakes of various size. Very, very lovely. There's even a landfill, which is a plenty great hill. But at least they're taking the uh, methane from it and using the gas to, I think, for electric to generate electricity. And we've got this whacking great incinerator that nobody wanted, but everybody got. Uh, but I'm sure most of the emissions coming out of that is uh, scrubbed. I used to work for a firm doing gas scrubbers and air heaters when I was a draftsman many, many years ago. Um, but now it's a bird watching area, which is lovely. Uh, so everything's got a silver lining. I, I'm painting over, a, as you can see, another previous demonstration from months and months ago. I don't like it. Uh, it's okay as a demo. So I'm going to go over this with oil. I, I primed it with PVA glue and a dollop of, of acrylic paint. Well, PVA glue is acrylic. Uh, it's solid but in water until it dries and it's waterproof. So I'm hoping that won't soak in. So it's just a bit of watercolour paper. It's 30% cellul uh, wood pulp and the rest is cellulose. But uh, that's a pretty good mix actually for th these sort of paintings. It would be durable. And I love painting on it. Uh, so let's, uh, let's just rough, let's do a rough drawing. We'll have a low sort of horizon, a bit of, bit of meadow land. Um, bits, of, bits of trees and stuff, a bit of a pond over here or a lake and we've got some sort of trees coming up here and just rough ground basically to get this coming up from here. Okay that's all we need, I've got to finish my cup of tea. Been out on the bike ride around my neighbourhood to get a paper and it's about four miles nothing too strange as well it was actually up two hills but down two hills as well so what goes up must come down right so I'm using some of uh, this oil has been going for ages it's still, still a bit runny and it's got some Peter, some uh, fast drying oil drizzled in I'll add a bit more I think oh, oh that's neat oh well just a few drops so a bit more linseed it is sticky I'll throw that away oh gosh it's all sticky you can use you can use walnut oil I've got some I was using I don't know why I don't walnut oil that's a famous uh, type of uh, oil for using oil paints. Walnut oil with a bit of fast drying stuff in. I'll, I'll, perhaps I'll use that but this is the linseed I'm using. Pure chem liquid. A litre there, or it was. Very very good. Let's pour that in there. So I, I got this on eBay. It was about eight pounds for a litre which is very very good. Okay so we uh, we want a sky now. I'm just going to get a bit of, a bit of, bit of blue, a bit of grey, oh, more grey than that, a bit of white. So the, the paper is, is pretty flat, so I'll just 
part of the illusion of detail. Get some, I mean, we're, we're looking at towards Croydon for those of you that live there, live near here. trees are going to go. Oh, we've got some movement in there. I'm trying to do these things as fast as I can for reasons of spontaneity and Impression. A little bit of oil. Oh, I want more dark than that. The paint's grey with a bit of white in it, soon it sort of disappears as a grey. I'll um, just say so that to enhance that a bit. A bit of, bit of red in there. That's my horizon, but I want that grey to come down here a little bit. Just scooting over the land, these. Ooh, we're making a lot of noise here, aren't we? Let's, let's move those brushes. Alright, that's a okay. Right, that blew up, I think, on the top. Bit of oil, whoops. Now, if watching this doesn't inspire you to have a go, there's no hope. You often get, uh, all, all artists that say, I wish I had your talent. And I have to assure them that I wasn't born with any talent. Talent came after years and years of struggle to, to be, to do it. So it's practice, just do it. And just have, have fun. So that's just neat, mixing with a bit of a, a touch of that white. So, so yellow ochre and white, that's, that's all I'm doing on it. A bit of bright up the top here. Let's get some trees on that horizon and then we'll start doing some texture. I should use my texture brushes. Uh, so blue, where's my line? Horizon's there. because I want to counter change some nice light. I'm not going to paint the incinerator. That doesn't qualify as landscape to me. 
Although some people would. For some people it's lovely. My wife watches it out of their loft room windows at night where they're pumping out all sorts of stuff. But it's probably, probably scrubbed. They, they wouldn't be able to get away with just pumping out the chimney. Now would they? Hey. Putting some holes back in, in there. Do you know, I just didn't love doing this. It took me a long time to go on some oil painting. I've always had a go, but uh, I remember the first one we ever did, my wife and I had a friend, he was a good artist, even then. Um, Johnny Jones. Um, we bought some oil paints, we bought some tent canvas, we made some stretchers. On, on our new, uh, our first house, we were in the process of decorating. We, uh, we nailed the stretchers, or homemade stretchers, canvas to to the walls, the unpainted or the, the plain plaster walls. And we did lighthouse. Never done oils before. Done a bit of watercolour painting but I gave that up because it was too hard. I forgot that you have to learn to do these things. I thought it was talent, didn't have talent. But as I say, talent comes at the end after years of struggle for most of us. I mean there are always people who are stars, aren't there? I'm not one of them. I quite like that sky. Now we're going to put in some yellowy, greeny trees. darker on this side. Payne's grey and the cadmium yellow pale are great uh, bedfellows. I need to put some more uh, Payne's grey. I've used a little Payne's grey but luckily my, my mate Alan Owen and your mate as well He's given up at age 86, 87, he's given up oil painting, he says, he's getting too old. So he sent me all these tubes of paint, the big ones, the big 200ml tubes, about seven, seven of them, a couple of white, paint grey, which I use a lot of, so they're lovely. All right, let's uh, get some more of that colour in here. Let's have a bit of red in there. These are just, I don't know what trees they are, don't ask me. Just, just trees. Can you a bit of light from over here somewhere? Just rough, rough trees in the landscape. But I'm going to put my pond in. I do like doing ponds. Let's have some dark in there. The shadow side. I'm going to go on my rough brushes in a minute. Mm -hmm. 
I'm just saying this is just a bit of bit of red and blue for the shadow and and these. Okay, well that's a start. Now we're going to get the rough brush. Ah, I haven't cleaned that one. Right, okay, hold on. I'm going to just go and put that in soak. Hold on. Bear with me and uh, a bit of water and some fairy liquid dishwasher. Not dishwasher. Mm. Washing up liquid is what I meant to say. So I put in my collapsible pot here. Look. This is a bit of blue, that's the fairy liquid dishwasher. Now that that should take all that oil, oh, I forgot about that one. That's one of my better rough, rough brushes. So I'll leave that in soak for a few hours. I've got plenty of them. Not sure all the brushes, not these rough brushes. Uh, so there's another one now. 15 for eight pounds. But they do such lovely things. What we're trying to do is create an impression of detail. Okay, so let's get to farmland. Bit of oil. This is all flat land, apart from the, the hill they've made with the food with all the rubbish. But we've been looking at a programme on TV, very interesting, about what happens to our rubbish. Well, most of it doesn't seem to get recycled, does it? Now, I'm not going to go right to the edge of the paper because it's, if this was ever sold, it can be mounted on or mounted behind glass. Now if you're going to put a light pond in, you've got to have it something dark, or a lake, it's a lake, let's call it a lake. Let's not beat about the bush, take that clip off I think. Uh, nice dark green in here. Darker, yellow. In here, because that's in shadow. A bit, of, a bit of this, a bit of that. Look, I'm not painting anything, I'm just dabbling. Just putting the, putting the stuff on with a rough old brush and then counter changing, light against dark, always light against dark. This is all rough, rough ground, it's been quarried. I'm going to go down the next week for blackberries. All dark in there. Because that's where the lake's going to go. I'll let that dry up a bit. We're going to do a pond. Just let that go tacky, which it will. Now I've got to tell you something about the shape of those trees. There are three soldiers and we don't like soldiers. We...
just blue, blue and uh, red in there as a sort of a cool, rich, if that's not a concentration, of Yeah, I see, I forget what I'm going to say. I get so absorbed in what I'm doing, might as well do forget anyway. Because I like cooking outside, but I will do it with some mussels today. I uh, can, I forget things, I come into the kitchen to take stuff out, and what have I come in here for? Then I have to uh, take something else out, then I remember what it was. Let's get some more dark in there. I'm using quite a bit of oil. Oh. It's nothing really, is it? Look, but, but your brain is telling you that that is uh, nettles, all sorts of rubbish going up there. I think you can see why I love doing this now. But we, we want some. Well, if I if I do the reflection on the water there, it's not going to show, is it? Because it's going to be the same colour as what's above it. So we'll use a bit of a, a light blue, a bit of oil. So that'll reflect a bit of the sky. So on white, we want a bit of ochre colour. Right, I'm going to just go back with that uh, mauvey colour. I'm going to use, I'm going to use a knife. <coughs> couple of days I'll be thinking that today is Saturday. See that's what's happening to me. Doing all these videos here so aggling my brain. Right now we're going to put in some light grasses. Coming up and covering some of that. Uh, okay, let's get some more of that white highlight. Okay, we've got some lighter greens in there now. Now there will be poppies in this landscape. One because poppies seem to 
the seeds get uncovered even if they've been dormant for 20 years. And they are a great, I haven't got a poppy colour, I've only got cad red. So um, we'll use cad red and a blob of yellow. And a nice bright bit of oil. Now we can, look, oh, poppies. Not portraits, not detail, just an impression. So when the ground's been dug up, You get the poppy seeds coming, coming up, and they've been in the ground for years. All right, let's do some white bits in there. I'm listening to. Uh, reports on Covid and some guys just come off from Wigan. Now that's interesting because I don't know him. Our old friend comes from Wigan or lives in Wigan. Okay, I don't think there's much more I can do with that. Uh, right, we'll clear the decks for action. And we'll put it in a mound. Let's take off my my expensive palette. Look at that. Bit of MDF. Bit of cash MDF. Put that to one side. Uh, I'm going to leave the tape on. Gotta go by the mount and find a bit of bit of rag just to make sure I've got all my fingers clean. Well there we are. Let's uh, raise you up. We raise you up so I can be your hero. You see when I'm happy. Oh, sorry. I whistle and sing to myself mostly. There we are, that's a uh, bit straighter in the uh, frame. So there we go. we've got a, a morning. You can see a lot of the uh, ground colour showing through. That's what Constable used to do, but he used well, sort of a brightest burnt umber. So he would leave a bit showing when he did his trees, some would show through, and it gave that lovely counter change between the, or the complementary between the, the green and the, uh, and the red. And if you look at a landscape, old landscape, heathland or whatever, it's, it's mostly Oh, that's just, that's right. Mostly red and green, all oh, different shades of green and different shades of uh, of, of red, but uh, and mixtures. But it, it, the, it's essentially a a red and green landscape, which is lovely. That's why I like doing those uh, two colour ones. I could demonstrate that technique uh, in November, if we're not locked down. That is, have we lost a, a day's workshop money? Uh, because of this wretched bug. So anyway, um, if you want to support me on uh, Patreon, you can do it very easy, very cheap. 450 odd videos there, which are exclusive to my patrons. I haven't got many of those. Uh, and Etsy, if you want to buy a picture, go on Etsy. I don't put these on straight away if they're any good. Um, I need a little bit more white in there, I think, just to make it obvious that that is a pond rather than that a bit of nothing, well it is a bit of nothing really. Oh, 
Well, that, that'll do. We don't want to make it too obvious. Otherwise, you have to put a signpost on saying this is a pond or a, or a, a lake. But we call that Bennington Farmlands an impression. It's not accurate in any way, shape, or form. It's just a variation on a the theme, but I just love doing them. I love meadow. But it took me quite a while to, to even do these sort of things. I think I've probably overdone the patterns here. But anyway, I hope you like it. Thanks for looking in. I'll get this photograph and I'll get it uploaded to YouTube for you. Uh, I don't know what the time is. Uh, uh, it's uh, half past eleven. I might do another one, might not. Anyway, enjoy the rest of your, your weekend, folks. It's going to be in the 90s in London today. That's, uh, that's very hot for us. See you soon. Bye-bye.